We have a new portable head unit by Eonon and we are going to test it out my 2008 Chevrolet Tahoe. This head unit does have a dash cam, rear dash cam, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, but let's go ahead and check out what's in the box. And already this is looking really good. I love how slim the profile is. It already comes with an SD card, which is nice. 64 gigabytes. Put that right back in. It powers on via USB-C, which is what I love to see. We have the AV in for the rear dash cam or backup camera and an aux in. This is the power button and it has a very nice clicking feel. And this is the camera, which I am digging a lot. It looks very nice and high quality and it can move around just about anywhere. And of course, this is the mount that comes on the unit, but it does have another mount we can use as well. Suction cup mount, which is what we will be using today. Extends and it rotates all kinds of ways. Here's a cigarette lighter to power the device, has a USB-C, and what's really nice, it also has a USB outlet on the back of it, so it's not taking up that part. I love to see that. Here's the rear camera, which does connect to the reverse lights via this wire. And of course, you have an extra sticky pad, if you wanted to stick with that mount, that's already on. And we have the aux cable. Let's go ahead and test it out in the Tahoe. So I'm not gonna be using this mount, but if you did wanna use it, you take out the sticky pad and you stick it to your dash. And it looks like a pretty clean install. Let me show you. So it blends nicely into my dash and it would be a very clean look if I wanted to stick it on there. But like I said, I don't want to use this mount. So to move it, you slide down and it comes right out. Super easy. So I got the suction cup instead, put it in the grooves, then you slide right up until it clicks. And there you go. So find your favorite sticky spot. Then you press this down secures that spot and you want to tighten this, tighten this to whatever length, then tighten this last joint back here. I don't need two hands to do that. And there you go, we have a pretty clean and easy install. Let's go ahead and power up the unit. So we got that plugged in. We know it's powered because the light's on. Now we got to plug this sucker in. Okay. That was a very fast power up. Now it looks blurry. It's only because of this. Oh yeah, that looks so good. Man, that is such, these are getting better and better. That's exactly why I do these videos to keep the competition up. I remember when I first started to review these head units and there was not much competition. Now the competition has risen and things are getting much better and I'm super excited. You saw this backup camera, all you need to do is plug this in, which is in the back here. And if you want to learn how to wire up this end properly, I'll link a video down below on how to do just that. So it will turn on whenever you back up the which car. Is very handy. I already installed it into this e on head unit. Let's going to go over my favorite thing about this head unit and that has to be the recording. So to access that, we can press this button and now we see both of them recording. Now the reason we see these striations going down is because my garage is using LED lights. Let me show you. Those lights always causes this on every dash cam I've used in the past. So as you can tell, it is at 4K and the footage is really good. So we're going to slide between, we're going to slide between different dash cams. Ah, well, that's like, hmm, what's up? That's pretty good. And with this one, you can actually read what's on that whiteboard over there. I'm impressed. Now, while we're recording, we can lock the footage, which means we have saved that video, so it won't be automatically looped. Unlock it, take a screenshot, we can send it to our phone, and we can turn on and off our mic. Now, and of course, you can stop the recording if you really wanted to, but might as well let it record 24 seven, just for your safety. It's always gonna record as long as it's plugged into the car and powered. One of the most important things with these head units, and that's turning off that wretched sound. So let's go to system, turn off tip sound. There you go, now it's off. That is so annoying, and they always come with that noise automatically on. We change the date and time, look at the storage info. We can reformat the SD card. We can factory reset and we can change the language. For you, those of y'all interested, we have all these different languages. We can go on record resolution. I'm at 4K 1080p, but it also has 2K. Go on split time. Split time means it's recording for one minute before it creates a new file. I typically like to do three minutes. Illusion sensitivity, um, middle microphone. I currently have it off. Rear mirror and reverse lines. So these are the reverse lines and you can adjust them to wherever you like to put them. And of course, if you right hand drive, you can swap sides to the screen mode. We can have multiple things on and during one time. Let's go ahead and enable that, see what that looks like. Brightness as an auto mode, assisted touch. Let's go to the fun stuff and go home. This is the brightness. We can so to adjust the brightness. You have to turn off auto, then you can raise it up. I'm gonna raise it up all the way. Should have done that earlier. This is the sound. We can turn it up and down. And of course we have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, AirPlay, Android Cast, Wi-Fi video, playback, which which plays the videos that we have just recorded. You can see and the photos. So it says H2 and H1. H1 is the camera on the head unit, and H2 is the backup camera or the rear camera. So let's connect to Apple CarPlay and see how the sound quality is. Let's connect our phone. Let's confirm. Switch to CarPlay mode. Yes. 
Now we need to connect our phone to this. Now we have the split screen going on. That's only because from settings, I turned on split screen. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back off. Power play. And now it's off. But let's go ahead and connect our phone. Secret to Bluetooth on our phones and connect to Enon 1F8B. So right there, press pair, allow. We are now connected. And now here's the home screen, which looks really freaking good. Go back to the home screen, go back to CarPlay, open up whatever apps you want to open up. Let's play some non-copyright music. Right now it is playing through nothing. So let's go home. Let's go to speaker. And that's coming directly from the unit itself. And it sounds okay. But now let's do FM. Let's do 87.5 radio station. We now go to audio output, FM, and change to 87.5. Oh, that's 97. As you can tell, this is very easy to change to stations. 87.5. Let's go back home. Go back to CarPlay. Connect to 87.5. And let's play. That sounds pretty good. Now let's go ahead and go home. Go home, Go. we can press FM here to change the audio output. We do Bluetooth connection. So we want to confirm. We want to connect through here through Bluetooth. And I'm connected through my phone. And to do that, if you have another unit that also uses CarPlay and you're trying to do both units, you, you go to the Bluetooth connection connected to the, your stock unit, press this and turn off CarPlay so it doesn't connect to that unit and have issues going back and forth. So I'm only connected to that unit via CarPlay, to this head unit via Bluetooth, but also connected to that head unit via Bluetooth using Apple CarPlay. And of course, finally, you can connect via AUX, which is the simplest and easiest way. However, connecting to the FM radio, actually sounded really good and it's probably one of the best FM audio transmissions I have experienced so far. Uh, the connection via Bluetooth was fantastic. Uh, you can still use Apple CarPlay up here and Bluetooth music do whatever stock head unit you have that allows Bluetooth. But if you don't have Bluetooth, you gotta do FM or the aux cable. I just love these portable head units because they can modernize any older car. And the idea of just keeping older cars on the road for a longer time is a big deal to me. If you wanna check out this unit, I have a link down below for your convenience. And I also have a 10%, I also have 10% off as well. This is Chris, always appreciate and respect another. And thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully it helped you out. I'll see you next time.